Hello, welcome back to another video. So, today we're looking at the reality stone effect that you see in the new Avengers Infinity War movie. And it's during a scene where Thanos is showing the Avengers what happened on Titan or what it used to look like. And it kind of, he kind of pulls his fist in like this. And as he does it, the reality stone lights up. And then you see behind him the cut of which is like a red beam that goes across the screen and it shows like a different reality basically. So that's what we're going to be looking at today and I'm going to show you how to create it. So let's jump into it. First, you're going to need to download the free plugin Sabre by Video Copilot. I'll leave a link in the description for you to download. The installation is quick and simple, so you shouldn't struggle getting it installed. Do make sure you restart After Effects if you've had the program already running, that way After Effects can recognise the new software. Oh yeah, before we jump into the video, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Now let's get into it. So this is what I've previously created. Right, now let's create a new composition and import our footage into After Effects. For the sake of a tutorial, I'm going to use two still images from, that m from the Marvel films, but this will work for any kind of footage that you want to use. Right, we're going to want to pre-compose both of these images and move all the contents into the composition. The reason for this is because when we mask our Sabre plugin and paste the keyframes onto the comp, it has to have matching frame size, otherwise it will not line up. Now create a new solid layer, name it Saber. Now go to effects and presets and search for Saber and drag that onto your solid layer. First off, let's go into the render settings and change composite settings to transparent. Before we jump into Sabre, let's grab the pen tool and create a wipe that will act as our reality stone transition. Bear in mind, the more points you create, the more positioning you have to do if you plan to make this mask look a bit more organic. Now go to Customize Core and change Core Layer Type to Layer Masks. Now let's create a keyframe on the mask path at 3 seconds and then scrub along the timeline to 6 seconds and then move the part of the wipe across the screen. Now you may want to play with the position of the keyframes on the last frame as you can create a little bit more of a natural move instead of a linear, um, instead of something that just feels linear where it just moves across the screen. You could even go halfway through the animation and change a little bit towards there so that it just looks a little bit different so there's a bit more energy in it. Now that we are done with the mask, let's move somewhere on the timeline that shows the saber wipe. Then we want to jump into the effects panel and start playing with the settings. Let's change the preset to soft smoke. We can make the glow colour bright red. Let's change glow bias to 2.5. Now let's go down to distortion and this is where all the magic is going to happen. So open up glow distortion, change distortion amount to 25. Then we want to change the wind direction to 90 degrees. The noise speed can be 0.5. Noise scale 133. Motion blur of 0.5. Now let's hop into core distortion. Distortion amount to 14. Wind speed to 0.28. Wind direction 90 degrees and noise speed of 1.3. Now let's go to glow settings. Glow size multiplier could be 2.5, glow one intensity 1.92, glow one size can be 80, glow two intensity can be 1.2, and glow three intensity can be 0 0.6. And then change glow four intensity to 0.2. Now that's pretty much the settings I used to create this effect. To intensify the colour, I went and grabbed a tint and then applied it to the Sabre layer. If 
we change the white to red and then change the intensity to something around 90%. Um, no way, I remember what I did now. Swap the colours around and then make the top layer a dark grey. Now that's pretty much matching up the colour of the reality stone from the Thanos uh, still that I showed. Now to apply this transition to our layers, we're going to have to move to the first keyframe and then click on mask path and press command or control C on the keyboard to copy and then click on our top image layer and press command or control V to paste these keyframes onto the layer. Now change both masks to subtract And then on the image layer, change the mask feather to 30. Now this will just soften the edge if uh, anything does show up. Now that's our transition complete. Now you don't have to follow everything I've done in either. You can really create some unique and interesting looks if you have a tinker with the settings. That's how I created this effect. I spent around two hours just playing with the different settings, learning what happens when you change different controls, and you really get a feel for what looks nice. Now to finish off the video, let's add in our green screen footage and layer that over the top of our footage. And there we have it, a reality stone transition. I hope you learned something new guys and if you did, be sure to leave a like and comment below. So there you have it guys, quite an easy tutorial, not too hard. Not too much labour bit behind it either, you just need to have, make sure you have green screen footage and the correct background that you want to use and once you've got that you've got a really nice transition which you can use in anything it doesn't have to be sci-fi it could be a music video or whatnot so if you like the video i appreciate you give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel as i'll be releasing videos weekly and i'll see you in the next one <laughs>